Today I'll be doing an overview of all the PlayStation 3 systems, starting with the 60 through the 80. Good things and bad things about the 60 and the 80. Well, they both can play PlayStation 2 games, they both have four USB ports, and they both have the uh, memory card slots. But here's the thing about the PlayStation 2 compatibility. The, the 60 gigabyte uses the Emotion Engine, which was a part in the PlayStation 2 that allowed it to run PlayStation 2 games more efficiently and as well as PlayStation 1 games. But the 80 gigabyte had, because of manufacturing reasons, Sony took out the Emotion chip and replaced it with software emulation, starting with the 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3 and PAL regions. So yeah, um, the 80 gigabyte is good, but the compatibility list is um, 80%. Yeah, so. The 60 gigabyte is a bit better, even though it's discontinued. All right, now with this, now with the 40 and the 20 gigabytes. The 20 and the 40 gigabytes both have their good sides and bad sides. The 20 gigabyte has four USB ports, the memory card slots, but no no Chrome twi trim, and no Wi-Fi. But the good thing is, it has, it has PlayStation 2 compatibility, unlike the 40 gigabyte model, which doesn't. All right, uh, the 40 gigabyte has two USB ports, no memory card slot, it's just got a plain block there, it's just a piece of black brick. And it, instead of uh, painted on, instead of a uh, chrome trim, it's got painted on uh, PlayStation 3 logo and all that other crap. And let's see, well, besides for the buttons being a little bit chrome trimmed, it's pretty good. Well, the 40 gigabyte is mainly for people that don't have a lot of money but want to get a PS3 really bad so that's pretty much your only ticket to uh, next generation gaming but if you like playing the your old games on the from the PlayStation 2 I suggest getting an 80 gigabyte 20 gigabyte if you can even find it even though it's discontinued well that pretty much covers everything thank you for joining me and have a good day